guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I actually am going to teach you, and I actually color it in with my Posk pens. Um, I'm going to teach you how to draw the characters Joe and 22 from Disney Pixar's new movie, Soul. It's on Disney Plus. It's a beautiful movie. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to watch it, get some perspective on life because it's a wake up call and I love it. Stop laughing at me. It's beautiful, Steven, and you liked oh, it too. <laughs> so, okay, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I turned my sketchbook horizontal so we can draw this horizontally. All right, what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and just kind of lay the shapes out. So the soles that they are, they're very, very easy just because they're based on circular round shapes. So we're gonna start with Joe's head. Go up. And it almost looks like a pear. So I'm gonna kind of round this down and back here. And then we'll go ahead and give a little bit of distance and make 22's head. So I'm gonna just circle this. And her head looks more like an egg. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because she has a little baby soul. All right, so you see how far away from they are from each other. That way they can hold hands because they're flying to Earth. Or, well, 22 is. So, back here behind Joe, we're gonna go ahead and give him the rest of his body, round it up, and go into the bottom of his head. And then for 22, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go back here, round this, and she does not have legs, so we're just gonna go up and connect to here. All right, now let's go ahead and start piecing more of like Joe's body together. So from here, from his butt, <laughs> we're gonna go back here from his leg. You're gonna just kind of like round this up and you're gonna curve it and come down here. Same thing, keep this part rounded. Another little, it, they're very easy. I don't know if you guys have ever drawn any Animal Crossing character like features at all but their their legs are very similar so it's kind of rounded very rounded cylinder and you round you just make like a little point same over here make a little bit of a point break this down here and go into the body so that's like his legs because they're falling that's like his legs they are his legs <laughs> so and then from here we're just gonna make a circle for his arm because he's falling. Now from coming from like here underneath his body, you wanna make sure this goes underneath like it's his neck and everything. And then this part is just kind of going up. So you it, it, ultimately a pair is attached to a body. And then from here, from this side of his face, make this a little bit more in, you're gonna go ahead and just make like the beginning of his hand holding 22's hand we're gonna see more of her hand so it's a very it's a little bit of more perspective kind of drawing and then this one we're gonna go out bring out his arm so it starts skinny when it's connected to the body and then large for the hand now for 22's body placement we're gonna go ahead and grab her arm that's going to be more in front of her body and she's gonna be reaching out to Joe those would be connected so then for 22's head she's looking more I'm gonna go ahead and angle her cheek so her not her cheek but her chin should be like right here in the middle of her body so we got her cheek chin here and she's gonna be looking at Joe and then we've got her other arm which is start skinny from the base of her arm and outwards for her hand and then no legs for her all right, so let's jump in and give more details. All right, so let's throw some details into the soul for Joe. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that middle guideline towards here because we still wanna relatively keep his ginormous head. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead, go really close to the top, and we'll have that eye guideline. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and give one eye here, big eye, 
And then right here, even though we don't have a nose to draw, we still have kind of a nose ridge and that will lead off of, so you just make a rounded nose edge, round off there for his eye. Same over here, we're just gonna round off the top, go down here and round back up. Now you got your eyes. Now, for his glasses, ugh, I'm terrible at glasses. I'm gonna try to teach you how to do these. The one thing I always like to do first is I like to draw the lens first. So his glasses are see-through. So I'm gonna start right here in his eye. We're gonna round off and I'm just drawing the inside of the lenses first and then I'll make the frames. And I'm gonna round down. So here's one lens. And then actually, like this lens comes out just a little bit and rounds down. And the thing is, there are those kind of like, you know, cause he's an old school fellow. So he's got really cool style. So they almost remind me of like, you know, what's his name, Archibald, I don't know. <laughs> those really retro looking glasses. I don't have a term for them. I used to have a pair. They were Randy Jackson glasses. They were awesome. <laughs> so you're gonna go down and round off. So we have the lenses. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and start attaching the frames. With these glasses, I always like to start with like the corners cause they're the most tricky. You know, you got your corner here and then it goes in and it goes down and then it's a thin frame. You're gonna go underneath the lenses and then they kind of like get to like since he's a funny looking soul, they have like a little itty bitty bridge. And then they go down. I'm still trace, tracing around my lens that I made. Okay, so this one. And then you go alongside that one. Then this is just gonna go down into that bridge and you're gonna go ahead and keep lining around the lens. And then you've got the other kind of like corner to the frames goes in and down so there's his funny glasses so they're kind of exaggerated a little bit just because they're see-through and he is his soul so the one i forgot what this part of the glasses is the things that go in your ears <laughs> forgot i'm totally blanking so i'm gonna bring this back here and i'm gonna bring this back here all right, so you want to show that you have the bottom right here and then the top right here connecting to the corner. Same for over here. He doesn't have ears and they kind of just disappear back into his hat. So this one's going to go in from here and this one goes in from here and then it just kind of slowly fades into his hat. So that's his glasses and you want to, if you want to go ahead and touch it up, but do not fill them in. They are see-through. So if you've got like a white gel pen or something later, if you want to color it, then you know you can go in and just color it with a white gel pen or a Posca pen or acrylic paint pen. And then we're going to go ahead and draw one little pupil here. And then one little pupil here. Because you're going to be looking at each other because it's so emotional and wonderful. Right? And then he's got, you know, very minimal shine in his eye. Like it's barely there, but you just want to go around. And he bar he has like his beautiful brown eyes, but it's just like a really small iris. So fill in those pupils. And then 22's got these big purple eyes. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach his eyebrows. So starting from above this eye, this one goes off and it's going to round across that forehead. So we are going to keep like the overall look of his face. So very boxy eyebrow going off to the side. Same thing over here. I'm going to bring this off. Bring it up into the frame. Now I'm going to fill in that boxy eyebrow. Then we've got our eyebrows and then he's got these little lines just to kind of show his age a little bit. So you're going to make one little line here and one little line here. And then best thing, no nose. It's great. So he's looking over at 22 and I'm going to go ahead and start from his forehead, bring this down, go into his face and then right about here at this bottom part, like right where right you drew his hand, 
and just make a sweet little smile. So from here, like I rounded it off on the chin, and this rounds up and it kind of fades into his body just a little bit. So the colors are what distinguish like the where the sections of his body is. So, but you have this line going in here and then this line here. Now, next thing is his hat. So going above where we drew, I still don't know what these are called. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead, bring up the bill of his hat. How is it that I know the bill of a hat? but I don't know what the term is for glasses. So we're gonna go ahead, bring this up, and there's just a little part right here that kind of shows the, like, the roundness of the bottom of the inside of the hat. Make sure it's even, this one goes in, this one comes out, and it's very, very fuzzy, so if you don't get it right completely, it's fine. Then you, from his head, you're gonna go so I'm just gonna kind of use this as a guide. Go up, go in, round it off, go back, and we're gonna go back into his head. And then there's like a really faint line to kind of signify where his hat is. I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter. I made it way too tall. It is not a gentlemanly hat. There we go. Then for, let's start with his hands. So we got his body, his hat, everything's nice and laid out. We're gonna go ahead and look at his hands. So the thing about the souls in Pixar Soul is that everything's really fuzzy except like distinctive features like the eyes and like, you know, he's got, Joe's got his glasses, but the fingers are really distinctive in Soul and they're really easy because there are four fingers. I'm gonna start with this curve inside the circle we drew. You're just gonna make a really fat thumb a fat finger and a fat finger and that's all you have to do and you can probably go in and make like this little finger hiding down here they're all the same height size they're just fat little fingers they're cute now let's start with 22. 22 is this cute little ghost figure looking thing and tina fey's voice was perfect let's start with 22's face so we're gonna go ahead and make the eye guideline. And she's kind of turning her head to look at Joe. So we have this egg shape. We got this chin. And we're gonna go down the middle. And it's kind of matching up to like the middle of her body. We're gonna need this line for the middle of her body so we can draw her patch to earth. Now for her eyes, they're really round, big eyes. So you're just gonna start with one round eye. And then remember about the nose ridge, we still have a little bit of a nose ridge on the side. You're gonna just continue off of that. But you wanna make sure you have those round eyes and have that nose ridge going up to the top. And then she's looking at Joe. So we're gonna draw the pupil iris here. Same over here, gonna go ahead, pupil iris here. Twenty-two has purple eyes and very minimal shine, very minimal shine on top. And you're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just draw the not the purple, the pupil. And then the irises will be purple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw her eyebrow. She's got one eyebrow up here, another eyebrow over here, very simple. And then for her mouth, underneath where her nose would be, so we're just gonna pretend where this is like her nose area. So we're gonna go ahead and curve up. So you see I make a really small bridge, go up, make a little bit of a dimple, gonna go in and connect to here. 
Now I'm just going to lightly erase inside. We need to give her her cute little buck teeth. So we're gonna cut off one side here. See how I just jumped inside the mouth. And fill that in. And you're gonna go underneath. It's really easy to make her buck teeth. So you're gonna go cut off the side here at the bottom of her lip. Go underneath those two big teeth. And you're just gonna kind of color in. And you can lightly, just very, very lightly make like that little buck teeth kind of line. And then you can go ahead and get rid of these guidelines. Now, the thing is when you are coloring, if you do color, 22 has really distinctive rosy cheeks. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly draw those on for you so you can remember to color those in if you want later on. And then for the back of her head, I'm gonna make her top of her head just a little bit taller. Round that off. She's got, she look, She basically looks like Casper the ghost. <laughs> so back here at a corner, you're just gonna kind of like give that ghostly kind of little hairstyle. It looks like a baby hairdo. Like if you were looking at a cartoon baby, like Jack-Jack, those little, little itty bitty things there. Just like a little itty bitty space. Then, most importantly, we're going to draw them holding hands and then 22's patch. So from here with Joe's hand, you're going to go down. So this one, you're going to straighten it out and you're going to have his thumb, big meaty finger. And then this one's going to go up, up, and then up. You just want these fingers to line up alongside of each other because we're gonna place 22's hand. So this one, you can leave the bottom of the line and then this line is gonna go in. And you're just gonna make like her extent of her finger. So you just got one, two, three. So you see. Round off those fingers into his hand and you can kind of go in to find this thumb a little bit more like he's holding on to her. And they're holding hands. And we're gonna jump over here. Let's make that cute little earth patch. So I'm just gonna make like a circle. And you can kind of go in, fill in the states, you know, simple earth, flow a little bit more. And this hand is going to be out. And it's gonna go, starting from the circle, we're gonna start with the pinky. Very simple, she has more of dainty fingers because she's a baby. And so we make little hills, start with that hill. And then we start to go in for the thumb. And I'm gonna go outwards for that. So we have like the forefinger, the thumb, There we go. Now I'm just gonna lightly fill in this. Fill in the blushy part here. And then you can go in and just kind of straighten it up.
guys, go! There is how to draw Disney Pixar's new two main characters from Soul, Joe and 22. It's a beautiful film, guys, and if you haven't seen it yet, my goodness, you've got to watch this movie. It made me cry and cry and cry and cry, and it really makes you think. I cannot tell you how much this movie is more of a Pixar movie than Onward was. <laughs> and I hear people talking about that a lot. I just really loved it, so go and watch it, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!